Hey! Hi! Welcome to News Blast. I'm Woo! Gary. I'm Erica. Are you? That's what they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, big day today. Uh, I, I I have to. Are we gonna go? Are we gonna go live earlier or later? When this? Okay, so I, I have to start this. Just everyone tune in later today at around three Pacific. Um, because yes, we are gonna have the puppies from the Puppy Bowl here. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh, we have oh. we even have like a football field set up for them. We're gonna do some some big puppy. It's plays. a very special day. The puppies are actually gonna predict something. Not related to the Super Bowl. That it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Tune in. Also, yeah. it's Gary's birthday, but whatever. Let's start. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> who cares about that? Yeah. No, I don't care. Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you very much. Everyone's very sweet. Well, um, it's the only day we're going to be nice to you, so we just ordered, enjoy it. We just ordered like a truckload of chicken wings and chicken fingers. So <laughs> pretty excited about day. that. Yeah, that's going to be good. Um, all right. Kamora Lee. Kamora Lee Simmons. Um, yeah, this is a rough story. <laughs> okay, so, listen, uh, Russell Simmons obviously uh, been accused of a lot of sexual assault, uh, sexual misconduct, and rape. And we actually broke a story on The Blast this morning that uh, the woman who filed the $5 million lawsuit against Russell Simmons, alleging that he raped her at his L.A. home in 2016, uh, is also claiming that he raped her at his New York home in 2011, Jennifer Jarosik, as the photo you're looking at of her and Russell together. She's now filing police reports. Um, she's going to be going to New York first, meeting with NYPD, talk to them about what happened, and then plans on meeting with the LAPD. She wants to take this to a criminal level. And I, you know, there, I, you know what, we don't have lawyer Lonnie in office today, but <laughs> I, I know that, the, I'm sure I'm sure the statute of limitations is not up on the 2016 yeah. case, just happened last year. Um, I, I don't know, as far as actual rape, I, I think the statute of limitations got dissolved. But don't quote me on that. I, I believe the 2011 case would still fall under that. So she is going to meet with investigators, though, and file reports. Russell still claims that, you know, nothing... He denies all allegations. He says everything was consensual, denies that he abused or assaulted anyone. Kamora Lee Simmons is Russell's ex-wife, and she was out in Beverly Hills, and she was asked about this. Now, there's video of it. We chose not to show the video because... Uh, just full truth and honesty. She's holding her daughter while she's talking about it, and it's a little weird. Feels a little inappropriate. Feel, yeah, it feels a little inappropriate. But I mean, like it's in, in it's this news. in this day and age, you will get asked these questions when you're associated with someone who has been accused. And her her response, she she's sticking by Russell. I mean, they had they how long were they married? I don't know. A exactly. very very long time. They were together. married a long time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. She pretty much said she believes that he's innocent, and the family's doing okay right now. Um, and then later on, she went on Instagram and she wrote um, the allegations. After she wrote, she wrote after I put my baby down. Yeah. <laughs> <Now>. <laughs> <laughs> but she said um, the allegations against him are nothing like the person I've known in all that time. I have known him to be a caring and supportive father and someone who has worked tirelessly to uplift di disenfranchised communities. So I mean, it's 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 a rough situation to be in. She's but I mean, I think she spot. handled it with grace. I mean, like yeah. innocent or guilty, no matter who the person is. I think if you spend decades knowing someone, you you associate them yeah. as a certain person in a certain way. I mean, and she's not she attacking the alleged victim. No, it she's was, just saying she doesn't believe that that he could have done this. She she sides with him in this, and and in all the time spent together, she's never saw anything from what these women are talking about. But obviously, does not mean that it did not happen yeah. because these are. Okay. You know, and I think it's important that she didn't. She didn't necessarily focus on that Absolutely. part. She she knows who Russell is because of the time she spent with him, yeah. and it's kind of as simple as that. Yeah, interesting. Um, all right, next part. So speaking of uh, speaking of all the chicken we're about to eat, <laughs> this is actually what got me in the mood. To, to, is it? To is this what inspired chicken. you? This was it. Yeah, it's got me. In all, I had all sorts of crazy feelings going on with this. It was great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, maybe we shouldn't get into all those feelings. I love Reba. Reba chicken. <laughs> I mean, there's the the smoky barbecue is delicious. And they've had a lot of Colonel Sanders. Like, how many has there been by now? A lot. Yeah, yeah. so KFC has a new Colonel Sanders. It's Reba McIntyre. Ow. It's great. Yeah, so yeah, they've had, this is, KFC's done this now. They do celebrity colonels. Uh, yeah, Norm MacDonald, Rob Lowe, Rob Riggle. Um, uh, who's it, Conan's buddy? Andy? Oh, uh, no. I forget his guy. Oh, man. Andy. Andy Richter. I believe Andy Richter was. Yeah. Uh, George Hamilton. Oh, yeah. Extra crispy. The extra yeah. crispy. That's hilarious. Yeah. We now have. The you know, first female one. It's fitting for the It's times. groundbreaking. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it really is. Time's up. Time's up, man. Time's up. Time for chicken. 
you got to see the spot though they put on. It's pretty great. We got we got to hear it for you. I didn't even like Reba McIntyre until this morning when I saw this commercial. Fantastic. So much respect for someone who dresses up as an elderly chicken mogul. <laughs> I don't so know what good. it is. I love just all the, the role reversals. You have the, the cowgirl throwing the cowboy it's through the It's progressive, yet delicious. God, how good does that chicken look, by the way? I KFC, you should sponsor us because I'll, <laughs> I'll eat your chicken on camera. We'll be so nice <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Reba McIntyre, she's actually in, if you didn't catch that little Easter egg in there, she's actually in the commercial as well, playing herself <laughs> and the Colonel. I don't know how they got both of them in the how same How did they shot. do that? Magic. Yeah, magic. must be. Speaking of magic. Oh. <laughs> Jen, I like these transitions are good. Jen Selter. Speaking of someone who probably has never eaten KFC. I don't see, you know what though? Jen works out like a maniac. She's like that person that she can eat whatever she wants. I mean, yeah, uh, you're right, she hasn't eaten KFC. Uh, yeah. But you know what she does like? Giant bowls of alcohol. That's like, is it a mojito? Is that what we, we... A strawberry mojito. Strawberry mojito. Strawberry? Uh, yeah, so Jen Selter, she is a, a Instagram fitness model, uh, maybe the most popular you know, Instagram I'd say fitness so. model. I'd I, say so. I'd probably say that, yeah. She's amazing. Um, she's known for her butt. I mean, listen, I, she's very proud of her body and, and all the work she puts in. And, you know, she has, I don't even know how many millions of followers she has. A lot. A lot. Oh, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> that's a great shot. Um, so she was in South Beach. Uh, just hanging out by the pool, drinking a gigantic mojito, and it's awesome. There's really nothing else to this other no. than enjoy. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. slightly concerned that no one shared that giant thing of alcohol. I love there. that they put like all the straws in it, and like there's nobody else there. But it's really just one person. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we have the full gallery up on theblast.com. You can go check it's that out. Well worth a look. It's worth many looks. <laughs> many, G many, Gary looked many at it looks. 20 times already today. I was looking today. at it before we came on here. I'm going to look at it after I leave. Uh. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'll look at it Happy many birthday, times Happy birthday, Gary. Yeah, thank you, Jen Selter. Um, yeah, she's fantastic. We love her. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't look like that in a bikini. <laughs> I'm not even going to say yeah. anything. Just go to the next thing. I know. <laughs> This is a sad, this is a crazy this is, story, No, actually. this is crazy. I'm sad. It is sad. It starts the whole sad, thing. and then it progresses to a well, while. Yeah, Suge Knight. So everybody knows Suge Knight is currently in jail right now while he's on trial uh, for the alleged murder of a gentleman. Um, it was t Tams, right? Tams, Tams Burgers in Compton is where Tams it Burgers. Tams has awesome burgers, by the way. And death. And they, there was death. <laughs> well, this was during, Allegedly. So, <laughs> no, there was there was definitely definitely death. Death. allegedly murder. allegedly by Shug. Yeah. <laughs> so the 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 backstory is that when they were shooting the um, was it the the Dr. Dre movie? Uh, I believe it was. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. When uh, so Shug wanted to be a part of the the movie. Um, he showed up. They were shooting in Compton. They were shooting at Tam's Burgers. Shug wasn't allowed on set. There was a fight between him and some security. They descended on his truck when he was in the parking lot, and he plowed through two people, killing one of them, allegedly. It's all on video. Um, and wild. so, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So two of his attorneys in this case now, his criminal attorneys, um, Matthew Culpepper, or sorry, Matthew Fletcher and Thaddeus Culpepper, have been arrested for accessory after the fact. Whoa. Yeah. Basically... Uh, the prosecutors are, are accusing them of bribing witnesses in the case. and the, Which is crazy enough on its own, Not, but the way they got to them dude, is even crazier to me. It's like an episode of The Wire. You never saw The Wire, did you? I saw the first season, Daniel and then I just, forgot that I was watching The Wire. Daniel just <laughs> cried a little bit in the back. <laughs> like a single tear. Yeah, do you, so we need to go talk a little bit about how they, they nabbed the guys. 
Um, yeah, no. So basically, so investigators got to this point because they were listening on the phone calls that Suge Knight was making from jail to his attorneys. But the caveat here is it wasn't through his attorney. It was through a third party, this other person, who would connect the attorney with Suge. And it dissolved the attorney-client privilege. Which... That's great. Like that's crazy. Look, wouldn't they so, look that up? Yeah. Before? So like, here's even the thing. if you're doing something illegal, or if you're not doing something illegal, I feel like you would want to know what could be considered Absolutely. private and not private. Not a good situation. Yeah. So you, you you talk to your attorney. There's this, this privilege. You can talk to your attorney about the case, about things going on, and they're not allowed to listen to that. The the officers got a special warrant from the judge saying if if Suge called a third party and that third party passed the phone off to an attorney. That call was fair game to listen to because it wasn't connected to the attorney. And loophole, right? <laughs> they claimed that the attorneys and Suge were, were discussing bribing witnesses, paying people off. They wanted, um, they were trying to pay people to claim that they saw that the victims had a gun mm -hmm. before Suge uh, drove them over. And also they wanted somebody that wasn't even there allegedly to testify that he was there and testify very favorable yeah. to Suge. That's not good. They're both being held on $1 million bail each. That's why. I feel like no lawyer is ever going to make that mistake now. I feel like no, this is going to be a learning, feel like, this is a learning lesson for everyone. I feel like lots of, lots of lawyers don't make that mistake already. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a rough thing. And also, you know, you're, when you're a defense attorney and now you're in jail, there's a lot of people in there you've probably represented that God. may not have been successful <laughs> cases. Hopefully Suge protects them because they were trying their hardest. But um, listen, these are allegations by prosecutors and the uh, the DA. Um, there, is, there is a complaint, so they're going to have their day in court. But does not... Until then, we'll good. see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. Um, this is it interesting. Casey Affleck? Is it interesting? I. You know what? <laughs> there was... I think he, it's a long time coming. It's a long time coming, but he saved the academy himself, everybody, a lot of hassle. Yeah, say. no, it's not. It's nice that he could do this one good thing before one we fully get put into him everything else? into the past forever and <laughs> yes. never talk about again. So Casey Affleck, people have been pissed off about Casey Affleck for since he what, won the like Oscar. A, a year now, At almost. Least, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, if anyone doesn't remember, so he won the Oscar uh, last year, Manchester by the Sea. Uh, yep. And um, this happened, uh, was it immediately before or immediately after? It is was what, like right after uh, there were Yeah, around the same time yeah. as when a, um, sexual misconduct allegations against Casey Affleck started surfacing. And ever since then, people have been just basically combating well, com combating him. If you and, remember Brie Larson, when she gave him this award, did not clap for him. No. And... Um, it was very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. and, the, and then she spoke about it after saying, like, my silence spoke for itself, which it totally did. Absolutely. Um, so fast forward to now. Um, he's not going to be there this year. He's not going to be presenting the uh, Oscar for Best, best actor. actor. That's the way it usually works. So mm -hmm. if you win Best Actor, you present Best Actress. Best Actress from the previous year will, will, will pre present Best Actor the next year. And so he has withdrawn himself from it. He wasn't, uh, uh, you know, asked to step down. He kind of got ahead of it, and I think the Academy is very yeah. grateful. What's interesting is there were talks at the producers this year because this was bubbling up. Obviously, you know, the temperature of, in Hollywood, all the scandals that are going on, that they were may deviate from that because I think they saw this coming down the road. But dodge a bullet. Dodge the sexual yeah. harassment bullet. No, I don't. I don't see why he would even want to be there. Honestly, I can't imagine. It's, why would you want to subject yourself to knowing <laughs> so a like, room ooh. full of your peers hates yeah, you? Yeah, it's worth. Hates yeah, hates you. And then you got in like right before like the, that whole windfall and everything. Right. And it's like, yeah, it's rough. Yeah. So he will not be there, nope. probably for the best. Yeah. With everybody. Um, okay, Storm Chasers. Joel Taylor. We've been following this story. Mm -hmm. Uh, we broke the story that Joel Taylor passed away on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Uh, while it, he, his body was discovered right before it docked in Puerto Rico, he was taken off. There was an autopsy done. Um, we are now told uh, that his body has been released. It's on its way home to Elk City, Oklahoma. That is where he's from. The autopsy uh, is basically deferred. The, the cause of death has been deferred depending the, pending the toxicology. And that's what happens a lot here. There are... You know, he was on a, a cruise that where there's lots of parties going on. It was chartered by a private company. It wasn't like a it wasn't a Royal Caribbean like trip. It yeah. was like you know that you have these private event companies. They can charter cruises, and so 
this was a big party ship. There were lots of part. There was lots of parties going on. Lots of allegations of drug use. Now, what's interesting is actually while this uh, boat was disembarking, it was the ship. It was leaving uh, the port in Florida. Two people were arrested for drugs, and we reported that yesterday. That. One was arrested with a bunch of ecstasy, and one was arrested with a bunch of ecstasy and ketamine. So it looks like, and, and, and everything we're being told is this looks like it may point to drugs being involved now. You know, we still don't know what kind, and obviously, you know, we, we can't make that leap right now. It would not be ethical no. to, <laughs> to start saying what drugs he may have been on or what, what may have happened. But um, that's kind of what, what we're being told is that also, first, when he was said the FBI was contacted as part of a protocol, they went over there quickly, determined that it was not a violent crime, and so they passed off to the pass off to the Puerto Rico Police Department, who's actively investigating now. And so we'll be able to find out what happens, but there will be a service for him on Monday. Hopefully, the family and everyone will get some closure. Sad, the guy was 38 years old, yeah. and so yeah, we'll, we'll have to. His body is en route right now, so we'll we'll keep you posted on on what happens and what the official cause of death is with that. Sad. Did you watch Storm Chasers? I feel like you're a Storm Chaser person. I didn't. Should I now, or is it weird if I start now? <laughs> no, you know, I always think about that because it's like whenever somebody <laughs> like passes away, like an old musician, you're like, oh, I start listening to their music, and you're like, it yeah, bums me out. It does bum you out, but then it's like, you know, same thing with like when Robin Williams died, it like crushed me. But like I went home and I started watching like his old movies, and like you know, it made me feel better. I think. Storm chasing is what Joel loved, so like if you're going to get into it, he would want us to watch. That's what he wants you to remember. Yeah, he wants. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire was great. Patch Adams. Damn it, I love Robin Williams. I know. I'm gonna cry. Crying right now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Jack. I cannot get through Jack without just crying my eyes out. Yeah. Gosh. We All right, what's, what's your happy segue for this one? I'm gonna this hear. is, uh, no, I, I was going to let you take this because I know you love a good deal. I, I do <laughs> love a good deal. Yeah. But honestly, though, who doesn't love a good deal? Melissa McCarthy loves she a good deal. She loves a good deal. Um, yeah. Not just a good deal. The 99 cent store. Oh, good man. For her. She's, dude, I respect anyone, especially totally. a, mil- like a millionaire celebrity yeah. who shops in the 99 cent store. Like, instant 99 respect, cent man. store has come a long way. Like, you can get really cool stuff down there. Like, it really a, I feel like it's been no. consistently awesome. Was no, it ever it's, not it's awesome? It's always great, but I'm just saying, like, the level and quality of stuff now, like, they have not, like, brand, brand name, but they do pretty well with, like, the way they package You'd be stuff surprised and, what, like, variety of items you can get yeah. for just 99 cents. Honestly, I haven't been since I got a job. Well, D- dude, you gotta time go. to quit and go. Honestly, <laughs> and you gotta think about it, like, when you're Melissa McCarthy, you have all that money. You can, you can buy, buy anything. the oh, yeah. entire oh, store. She could buy at least probably like what, like six franchises? At least. Yeah. 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 That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. But good for her. Uh, keeping it Respect. real. Respect. Wiss McCarthy gets the Keeping It Real Award of the Week. I'm glad we're giving out that award. <laughs> didn't, didn't know that was one of our awards. Just, <laughs> you just started making yeah. awards. Your, your plaque will come in the mail in two weeks. <laughs> yes. We're going to order it from the 99 cent store. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be made of balsa wood. It's not going to be very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll break when you it's open tin, it out of the package. Tin foil and balsa wood. <laughs> yeah. I think that's about it. Um, um, but yeah, through everything. do not forget to check Poppies. out our Instagram. Because we're both going to be crying and covered in puppies. It's going to be adorable. And that's worth it. Yeah, thing. Animal Planet is bringing their puppy bowl, uh, puppies in. We are going to have them, and we can say it now, we're going to have them, uh, th- these puppies are fortune tellers. I don't know if anybody told you that. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have them pick some Grammy winners. It's going to be Grammys the best are, day of our lives. I mean, these dogs know... Who's gonna win? Yeah, who else do you want your grand predictions from? A human? Yeah. Supercomputer? No. Yeah. yeah. You're kidding me. No. You don't even have to watch the grand. I take all gonna, my advice from puppies. Yeah, we're gonna tell you who's gonna win this <laughs> afternoon. Yeah, make sure to tune in. Also, there's a good cause. I believe the animals come from a very uh, good adoption agency, and so give you some info about getting a puppy. I think Erica already has like five. I'm not allowed to adopt like, any more puppies. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was waiting for a text saying, don't let you adopt. But how, I gotta imagine your significant other would love you. To I give a puppy. I can't fit any more dogs in my apartment. Puppies so, are so small. That's what I keep saying. Yeah. I know. That's we're getting a puppy. We're getting a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, make sure to follow us uh, Facebook, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, subscribe to our Please YouTube subscribe. channel. Please. Please. We will we will show puppies on our YouTube channel if you describe yeah. if you subscribe to it. 
If not, we'll probably put them up there too, but we'd really appreciate it if you And subscribe. if you don't, we're going to hurt the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I mean, they're going to go up, but we'd really like you to subscribe. Um, and want to follow us on Apple News and keep checking the site, theblast.com. Uh, we're going to put the best stuff up for you to check out and puppies this afternoon. Yeah. See ya. Bye.